What's good, everybody? KGB3 here with some quick gaming news for you. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, you know, there haven't really been like a lot of game, big gaming news. It's like two videos I plan on doing today. Uh, it should be out today and pretty much throughout the week. I may do like different, you know, discussions of video games and stuff I've been playing. I recently just beat The Witcher 3 last night. I've been playing that game since all summer. Very amazing game. Definitely very interesting and good. I definitely want to go more in depth about that in, the next, in, in another video. But first off, let's talk about some breaking gaming news that happened yesterday or this morning. So pretty much Final Fantasy 15's delay is actually officially confirmed. And to further polish the game, a new release date is released. Now this game is supposed to be releasing sometime like September 30th. So it's supposed to be releasing next month but now it's getting pushed back to November 29th so um, the one of the main reasons is they want to do polishing up and stuff like that um, and this right here is reading it from a quote it says the release date will allow development uh, teams time to further polish and conduct quality testing so that the reality of the game can match the expectations of both the fans and the creative teams there's a little bit more details down there if you want to read it but that's all i really need to actually talk about it right now uh so pretty much final fantasy i'm not really the biggest final fantasy fan in general i did like the demo the demo was pretty good to me my friend uh six mile red run was actually you know pre-ordered the game and i told him about it and he's like oh man so pretty much like now it's moved to november I may get it around that time. The reason why I didn't want to get in September at as soon as on the first day, because around that around that week or two weeks, you had like Mafia Three, uh, Tomb Raider, you had Battlefield One and stuff like that. In general, now it's because in November at the end, the only two games that come out in November, as I know of, is uh, Watch Dogs Two and Dishonored Two. Uh, I'm definitely getting Dishonored Two. Don't know if Watch Dogs Two. I uh, may just put a pass on that for now because, you know, Ubisoft, I can't really trust them for first person ga or first game, first day release games. You know, there's something about them. Uh, but I plan on getting Watch Dogs as soon as possible sometime next year when the price drop. But I may get Final Fantasy because it's at the very end of the month. May get it because of a little coverage there. Uh, but it kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts when I played the demo. Um, it's, it's pretty cool, but I definitely played the demo. I can tell there was some, like some type of uh, pacing issues and stuff like that. The game looks pretty much good, but there was some pacing issues left and right. But uh, overall, I can't you know wait to actually pick up the game and see for myself. And it's supposed to be like a 30-minute gameplay of the finished game, like sometime tomorrow. So I definitely want to check that out and may do with my first impressions on that as well. So uh, yeah, that's for that. So people who's looking for the Final Fantasy uh, 15 game, it's coming out November 23rd now instead of September 30th. It's being uh, delayed for polish issues. Also, some uh, interesting news is uh, there's a report that New Splinter Cell is in development. Um, Ironside returning as Sam Fisher. Uh, yeah, pretty much just said a reliable source has revealed some interesting information about the upcoming uh, Splinter Cell game. The game is al allegedly quite uh, far in development, with Michael Ironside said to be returning as voice of Sam Fisher. Amazing. Uh, and that's pretty much all we have so far. It says Blacklist was the last game that uh, received positive but criticism uh, was thick due to the fact that a new voice actor was the role of uh, Fisher. Uh, now, pretty much for Blacklist, uh, I haven't played Blacklist, but I have played the original three on the PlayStation 2 Xbox versions, played Double Agent. Uh, for the most part, I love Splinter Cell. I never really was a big fan of it. I play most of the games compared to like Hitman or something like that. And I definitely can't, uh, I definitely can't uh, wait for it to return. Because uh, Ubisoft, you know, they've been bringing back, uh, they bring back the uh, Ghost Recon and stuff. But majority of people really wanted another Splinter Cell game. Blacklist was so praised. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't get one as soon as possible, you know. So uh, this report seems pretty cool. So with this report coming out, there may be some indication of, you know, Ubisoft may be confirming it and probably maybe coming out sometime in the next future. It says far development by the report. We got to take this for granted stuff because nothing has been confirmed yet. So I just can't wait to, you know, see this uh, see this actually being confirmed because, you know, many people like myself has been waiting for a Splinter Cell game for a long time, especially people who play Blacklist. Uh, so for the most part, that's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this gaming news. Uh, Final Fantasy 15. Uh, what are your thoughts about it being delayed? Are you happy? Are you mad? Uh, delay games are very good because pretty much, you know, the middle polish is more up to date. Also, there's supposed to be a day one patch was to be actually that we're being working on. So you don't have to work. So when you get the game, you don't have to worry about all these patches afterwards. So that's pretty cool because for most games there are patches after the game to fix up different things even though they're supposed to be fixed up in the first place 
good things for that for Square Unix. And also let me know anything about the Splinter Cell report news. Do you think Splinter Cell is going to be real? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think, um, you know, what do you, what do you think well, should be some good features from the previous games? Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later on my next gaming news videos. Have a nice one.